fighting like hell in Apple villages at Renton Road to make sure that we have enough arteries to get out with those development. So it's a movie. The private sector and the public sector has to work together. Yes, developers should pay their fair share, but government should also step up to the plate and move forward. Unfortunately, the big problem is the pot of money that we have is this big and the demands of the state are this big. And you need legislators who you know that will not only fight for you, but will actually be able to come through for you. And I believe my four years in the Senate and three years in the House has proven I can do that, and I will continue to work with all parties to make certain our roads and our transportation infrastructure is built. Thank you. The more roads our developers build, the more jobs we have in Eva and Eva Beach. To their credit, I believe that the Kapolei Parkway is being connected by Haseko and Gentry. And this is a good thing. Oft times, the private sector can proceed much more quickly than can government and government contracts. Why are we not using the impact fees? And why are we not offering developers incentive to upgrade our roads since they already have relationships with the construction industry? You, all you have to do is, is get in a helicopter and look down on Eva Beach to say, gee, where are all the roads? Because I sure see a lot of houses. And it's just too easy to say you stop everything. Private industry and developers are efficient. We just have to arm them with more efficient government.